Hello YouTubers. Um hope so this is going to get well. This is my first video. Um I'm going to show you how to remove the keyboard. I mean how to remove the rivet of the keyboard with my tool. Everyone knows how to do these things with a plier, with a cutter, with other tools. But I think this is the I think this is the best choice you can have it so far as it will make your life a lot easier and in the time you spend fighting and you know sweating and you know try to take all those rivet you break the head you couldn't put the screws in there so basically this tool is like one of the best invention for this kind of um, job so I'm going to walk you through the processing to do it as I did have some few requests and to show how the tool works and bear in mind I just filming with my iPhone and a very really really precarious light so it's not the best however I try to show you what to do um see okay so far a few more screws to take it off <coughs> and we're done for now the end of this one is taking the keyboard remove the rivet and once you remove the rivet you will have space to replace uh, with this little screws. Come on, focus. Uh, okay, that's what I want. Basically, when you remove the screw, the rivet, you will have the holes ready to put a new screws. Otherwise, your keyboard will be like all bubbling, is not proper fit. Customer will be not happy with you, and Basically, you're going to be a cheap job. You don't want that. You want people to um, recommend your job. You want people to come back to you, say how good you are. Um, if you don't do the job and the work on the right way, it's, it's not good. Okay. I do like to have all my screws held by a little magnet, so less chance to get lost okay okay one two and three to go okay 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 now it's a tricky part removing the keys some people they found the easiest way some people they pull it some people they push it and basically I open the machine I hang the screen so if I if I if I make any pressure on on this on the keyboard it won't damage the screen so the last thing we have we need is to get something else damaged apart from the keyboard so just pull this one on the macbook air coming much easier than the mac pro however still Make sure you disconnect the keyboard before pulling. Like I said, you don't want to damage something else. You're fixing something and then you're breaking something else. So take all the precautions before opening it, before doing everything else. Okay, keyboard is off. Let's go on the bin. Don't need it anymore. Now is the part where everyone asks me to see this stuff 
Oké, okay. this is the tool. Um, basically what it does, you grab the, the, the rivet. I try to focus a little bit more. Okay. So what it does, Grab the rivet. And you pull it off. That's it. Um, it's a little bit too cushiony this one. Need a firm surface. Okay. Um, we have another one here. Okay. Very easy. Put the tool. Move it a little bit and it's coming off. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to do like a little bit fast because I need to finish this job soon. Two, three, four, Okay, I'm almost done. All the way half through now. And one more here. All gone. Less than ten minutes start to finish. I mean it since 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 I start to take in the, the actual keyboard. The actual taking the, 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 the rivets take less than two to three minutes. When you get used to and not talking to the camera, you can do it in two minutes very quick, very easy. And not even a single rivet got stuck in here. 
all are, all are gone completely all no one single got broken so we have 100% success I say 98% just in case just to be on the safe side but I I reckon it's 100% okay um, if you got any inquiries I'm happy to answer um, also you can buy this tool from me um, remember I'm the inventor of this tool so no one else will have it thank you bye